Keb Duck. Keb Duck by Sean Side for today's uh, Throwback Toy Thursday video. Have a quick look around. Take a turn around of the figure. It's a relatively large figure and uh, pretty awesome. It has uh, five points of articulation on the feet. Quack, quack, quack. It's quite funny. But it doesn't really do help it sit down or anything like that, which is fine. Its arms. It's one hand, the spray can, the other one is empty. So it's quite a. I don't know what you can do with it though. And the neck. Turns. Let's see a little detail of this figure. Uh, before I go into a story, which uh, Throwback Toy Thursdays would basically be about in time to come, uh, all about stories, my own stories and personal experiences with figures, which people might or might not like, which is okay. Okay, buy me. Sean Sai, 2010. Released in 2010, which was pretty cool because uh, 2010, uh, this was uh, released at ToyCon in Singapore, Singapore ToyCon, uh, around the year end. Now, I remember very distinctly because I had stroke in 2010, and ToyCon was near the tail end of my hospitalization. I was in hospital for two months. And it's funny because uh, part of the hospital stay, I could have time off. Time off meaning, you know, it's like army, time off. But time off in this sense was I could uh, take a weekend off, go home and spend time with family, but check in to the hospital on a Monday. Okay. Maybe check out on a Friday or Saturday, checking on a Monday. So it will promote, you know, family and community and all that. It's funny because I uh, told them I was going home, but with the full knowledge of my family. I went to the toy con. At that time, it, it was in Suntec City, 2010. I was in a wheelchair. My sister wheeled me around. Uh, I still could not stand properly. I was in a wheelchair, and it was the first time I saw the toy convention in a different sort of eyeline, different height. You know, looking at things is different when you, you stand in a, you know, your regular adult height, you take photos, you talk to people. But on a wheelchair, people, I would say look down to you. People, some folks are pretty cool and they may literally squat down to your level and chat to you face to face. Kudos to those people. Thanks for the uh, the respect given to people. Uh, not not particularly to me, but to people, you know, and uh, seeing eye to eye with them. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And there are other people who spoke down, which is fine because uh, um, I wasn't dwelling in sympathy much. And I did not look out for people looking at me in, in sympathy. So that wasn't an issue. Uh, I met Sean, a mutineer June at uh, their booth in, uh, from Taiwan. Sean from Taiwan and mutineer June from Taiwan. I was so excited to meet them um, that I... It was funny because they were in the middle of talking to people and just bucked in and just... It was okay to wait because I was in a wheelchair. You know, it's quite funny and they gifted this to me. And another is Rebel Angel from uh, Mutina June, which we'll look at in another week. But I've always uh, kept this close. And, and I'll thank Sean for, thank you, Sean, for your generosity. And truth be told, toys really did perk up my time. As, as a lot of toys, a lot of friends also sent me toys while, while I was lying in hospita hospital bed for close to two months and it's a memory I'll cherish and it no longer is a bad memory because of stroke but it's a good memory because of toys so never underestimate the value of toys and never underestimate the value of friendship and generosity when somebody is in uh, trouble or someone is in melody and the power of toys you know it uh, resonates strong within me in that aspect and uh, Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed the toy. I can't say you enjoyed my ramblings, but I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless. Cheers. It's quite ironic. One eye big, one eye small, like what that happening to me now after show with my eyes eye was affected. So this is more pointless than anybody thinks, man. <laughs>